Some people say that the UK is facing a skills crisis at the moment. Do you think that's right? Well, I think it is, actually. In certain skilled areas, we're certainly seeing that shortage. In fact, we've been seeing it for a, for a number of months now. There's another side to the market where we're not seeing that skill shortage. But if I talk about the skill shortage, Manpower Group does an annual survey. We've been doing this for the last se uh, 10 years on talent shortage. And yet again, globally, this is an issue for us. So it's not just a UK issue. But I think about what we're, where we have the skill shortages. It's in things like engineers, it's trade skills, it's drivers. If I look at the professional market and the IT skills, we're talking about those that operate in security or in the cloud or digitalization. There are genuine skill shortages right now. As we see growth coming back into the economy, are those recruitment difficulties getting worse? I think it's a challenge. It's not getting worse. It, it, it remains a challenge. And I think it's up to companies then to be attractive to these individuals because actually the individual starts to have choice now. Rather than companies dictating who I take and when I take them, the individual is going to start to choose where they want to work. So companies have to think about their employee value proposition, we would say. What are the risks then to individual businesses and to the wider economy from those skill shortages? Well, I think the one thing we'll find is a lack of productivity. And we talk about that all the time. Our productivity levels in the UK are not as strong as some of our European colleagues. Productivity will be the real issue for us. We won't see the sustained growth that we're all really looking for. So if you can't get the people who've got the skills to produce to the maximum, then you have to take on, you either, you either have vacancies or you have to take on people who can't quite produce to the same extent. How much of a worry do you think all of that is? I think it's a genuine concern. I think uh, if we look beyond just today as well, I think we need a structural change in education to make sure the skills we're producing through the, uh, the education system is what business needs. And I think this is where business and education could come together even more closely than we do today. What's Manpower Group's role in particular in all of that? Well, I think us, like uh, many others, have to think about things like work experience, helping the younger people get into work. We work on something called Movement to Work. A large number of the companies here in the audience tonight will work on Movement to Work. This is about getting real, genuine work experience for people for three to six weeks, which means they've got a better chance of getting a job at the end of it and gaining new skills. And youth unemployment is a particular problem, isn't it? Are there different approaches you have to take to address that? Are there different things we ought to be doing to address that? Well, us, like uh, many other companies, look at the apprenticeship scheme. The new government's talking about generating three million new apprenticeships. We have to all be a part of that, and it's up to business to engage with that and make sure we take on this, uh, this talent and help them to develop into richer, skilled people.